Hi, my name is Kristen from Elevator El Paso, and today we're going to be interviewing Jessica Meraz. And so, tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay. Um, hi, I'm Jessica Meraz. Uh, I am a born and raised El Pasoan, and I am living in Los Angeles and working as an actress. So, currently, do you have any projects going on? Uh, yeah, well, I came in town specifically for the uh, film festival, the two-day film festival, and that is uh, what I'm currently working on. I'm having a really good time judging it, and um, I've been watching all the, the shorts that have been submitted by these teams, and they have just, I've been very impressed by the quality that these local filmmakers have, have produced and put together. And um, so I will be there tomorrow at the Plaza Theater and we'll be streaming not just those films, but also I, uh, I made a short film in a couple of days with Rob Holgeen from K-Pop. We put a film together within a couple of days, wrote it, shot it, edited it, and um, we had a blast doing it. And that's been uh, this very fun and exciting week that brought me here, able to do this with you. Oh, cool. I'm glad. Are there any goals? All right, tell them about some roles that you've done. I'm sorry? Tell them about some of the roles that you've done. In my past. Yes. Um, well, uh, I'll give you, I guess, um, I was Menagerie on Supergirl, on the CW, um, and before that I uh, was Detective Camila Page on Major Crimes on TNT, and uh, before that I was um, Natalie on Chasing Life on ABC Family, now known as Freeform. Um, I'd say those are probably the biggest highlights. Um, which one is your favorite that you would say out of all of them? They're so different. Um, I would say that because it was the most recent one, Menagerie on Supergirl was um, a real highlight for me. And just she was such a, a dream villain. It was, that was just it was just a delicious role to sink into. But Camila Page is probably mm -hmm. probably has my heart. So as you were saying, how you were on Supergirl. That shows kind of like girl power. Uh, are you a feminist? I would definitely consider myself a feminist. Um, when you were younger, did you see yourself doing this? Yes. I knew since I was seven years old that I was going to be an actress. What inspired you? Well, um, I went to see a musical at the UTEP Union Dinner Theater. and It was the musical Gypsy, and I saw it, and for the first time I saw kids on stage acting and singing and dancing and my family loved going to the theater and uh, once I saw that someone my size and my age could do that too I then within a week I was taking lessons and, and I got really involved in the local theater here in El Paso. What's some of the training that you had to do in order to get where you are now? I'd say I, I'm, I did a lot of training. I'm heavily trained. Uh, I did classes from when I was seven, and then I went and I studied uh, theater at USC. I was a theater major. Um, and then since then, I've done a lot of training around LA, um, different schools and different, and different uh, schools of thought. Did you have to go to college for it, or did you go to college for something else? I went to college for it. I studied theater, yeah, at USC. Um, do you like the environment? The acting environment and everything, like the Hollywood world. Yeah. Um, yeah. I I think if you try to, if you don't like it, I think it probably need to go elsewhere. I think you know a lot of people say that they don't they don't like auditioning or they don't like something, but if that's something that you're gonna be doing all the time, you need to find a way to fall in love with it. Did you ever have stage fright? Yeah. Oh yeah. I still get it. How did you get over it? <laughs> um. Hmm. And say the last time I had really intense stage fright was uh, at the end of last year I did a play uh, in a big professional theater in LA and it was live and I, it was opening night and I knew that there were critics there and my agents were there and, and lots of people were there and I was just shaking. I was so nervous and I... It's again one of those things that if you know that you're gonna have to do it all the time, find a way to fall in love with it. Mm -hmm. And so now I, you know, it's like when you're gonna get on a roller coaster mm -hmm. and you're gonna have that like 
So I find I, I just um, I like being nervous. <laughs> um, do you have a specific type of audience that you target? Hmm, no, I don't. Just kind of everyone. I I I go for the part. Yeah, not for the audience. Do you miss El Paso? I come to El Paso so much, so I don't miss it. Um, I see my family all the time, and I, I'm I'm still very rooted and connected. Do you often travel? I love to travel. Um, if I know that I'm going to have a certain amount of time off, I I, I definitely think it's it's uh, very beneficial. Um, is there any word of advice that you'd give to someone who's in this career or who? wants to start off or has a similar dream as you? Um, I think if somebody, I'm still learning and, and, and trying to, to be a better actor and have a bigger and better career, but I heard really good advice recently and someone said, if you would be happier failing at this than succeeding at anything else, then you should do it. But if you won't be happy failing at this, then don't do it. What type of mindset did you have to have in order to get into this? I think um, uh, curiosity is really important. I think uh, grit is really important. So just being happy pounding the pavement and, and working hard and getting little win by little win and lots of losses along the way. Has there ever been times where you want to give up? All the time. <laughs> Once a year, I'm like, I can't do this anymore. It's so hard. And then something wonderful happens. And, and then I and then I fall back in love with the whole thing. That's great. Well, that's Kirsten Lana from Elevator Paso with Jessica Meraz.